coming. I know it is. Hello YouTube, it's Balamore here, back again with more Blind Gaming and a new LP for the channel. Hooray! This one's called Hamilton for the PC, of course. I'll put a link to the game in the description below. It's free to play, you can check it out for yourselves. Um, and who knows, I upload so far in advance, uh, by the time you play this, they might even have, uh, tweaked it a little bit. It's a pixel-style horror game, which I actually like the pixel-style horror games. It doesn't run butter smooth like, um, a non-pixel game, but it, it runs pretty smooth. I think we're in search of a woman, but we're about to get a story. I'll let you guys read that. Um, I'll give you the brevity version after. Without further ado, let's do this. Okay, so my my best friend and her boyfriend disappeared in Hamilton Forest, and the weather got too bad. The, the search parties looking for them were put at risk, so they called it off. And I woke up with a moldy page on the floor with coordinates in my best friend's handwriting, so I guess we're going to find out. Oh. Yeah, it's almost like slow motion, kind of, the way they did the pixel. Yeah, it looks like it runs pretty well. I guess that's my missing friend. I think you got sprint, and that's it. You got the forest in the distance. That's cool. Got something here. Click. Okay, so we're close. Yeah, I don't know why we're not just calling the police. If we found her backpack, we could just call the police. But we're set on uh, finding her and the boyfriend. So I wonder if I'm a girl. <laughs> Look at the trees. I like that. It's a very clear path. I would think we'd be hiking through the forest. That's what I was expecting. Warning, extreme hazard, no rescue beyond this point. No rescue? Yeah, why would she have taken her boots off here? It almost reminds me of, um... There was a game I played pixel style like this. Where, yeah, we just went over the point of no return. I don't think we're getting up that anymore. So, what good are we going to be to our friend now? Um, there was a game I played called Albion. And uh, it kind of reminds me of that. Well, that's blood or just an effect. I'm running. <laughs> this is my run. It's not too bad, though. Alright, that is probably saying the same thing. What's this? Alright, it's her diary for some reason. Maybe there's a clue. Okay, so she got an email about some crazy stuff that, that's going on in the Hamilton area. And the cops are really strict about people going into the Hamilton forest, so... She's kind of curious and wants to investigate. That's actually kind of creepy. 
So the next page is torn, and it's like she was writing with her eyes closed. Okay, and it's a bunch of jibber jabber. Wait a minute. Did I come from that way, or... I don't know. Oh no, I came this way. Okay. Yeah, I don't think it's blood. I think it's probably dirt. You know, the, the road under the snow. I want it to be blood. Like, that does look bloody, almost. It's not red, but... Too late? <laughs> Alright. Spooky time! Okay, it's just some building in the mountain. Ooh, we got a flashlight. This is Silent Hill. Yeah, I know, I pressed the flashlight. I gotta turn up my headset even more. Dang, it's quiet in here. I hear stuff. Oh, yeah, I hear stuff. I think this is going to have a lot of reading, so don't worry, guys. I will I will read it in brevity for you. Nice and quick, so there's a... Oof. All right, so we have a door there. A door there. Is this even open? I don't know what... Yeah, I don't think it opens. It doesn't make the sound like it's locked. I don't know. It's probably just left click. So I'm assuming we're going to have to go into this. Is that a light? Yeah, it is. I like this. See, atmospheric sound. Yeah, the sounds. That's what makes a good part of the spook. You don't have to just have cheesy jump scares. Oh boy. I'm actually nervous. Oh boy, what do we got in here? There's a door. There's two notes. So it's a note about this excavation that it's like a really large area that spreads to nearby towns, so it must go deep in the ground. People missing and they're like the signs outside isn't stopping people from wandering in and they're going missing and they can't tell anybody why. The families of the missing people. Okay. Okay, so both of them are the same thing. Don't think this is going to open. No. Okay, so we're getting a little clue into what's going on here. What did they excavate? That's the question. This flashlight sucks. So whatever's making people go missing, I'm going to encounter. And it's probably going to kill me. Oh boy. I'm assuming these are all locked that are like this. Yeah. Is that a... No, it's just a dugout area. Okay. The creaks. The creaks and the breathing really are good. So we have something there. I want to see what's... Okay, it's probably locked. Yes. I see that over there. Oh, boy. Oh, it was through the window I saw it. I heard that. Hmm. 
Well, if they knew, like, a monster was running around or something, you'd think this place would be locked up. I'll check this door. It's building, though. I like it. Okay, I was wrong. It's not ex excavation. It must have said exclusion. Exclusion zone. Okay, and it's saying that the, the more distance you have from the center so if you wander in the exclusion zone you're at risk but it's limited to the distance that um you are from what is thought to be the centermost point i don't know what that means and it's saying that the hamilton forest area of this exclusion zone has an unexplored cavern that they've yet to uh you know get to successfully i don't know what that means God, it's so creaky. Okay, that was a dead end. I like this build up though. It's the same creaky noise and breathing, but still. Alright, there's stuff in there. So what happened to the people? Everything's so rusty. Oh boy. I think this is saying that where we are right now is in the exclusion zone. Their data wasn't what they thought it was. Okay, and basically we're, we're definitely in the exclusion zone, but they think that uh, this place is on the outer edge but they're still not sure and they don't know what triggers an event I still don't understand but something happened some phenomenon I don't know what that is it's a photo is it a person without arms like a dead person hmm it's definitely spooky what is this Ah, are they staked there? Okay, an event happened. Oh god, that's so creepy. They keep repeating the same thing, we are okay. It's all like spaced out, it's weird. And then they activated the camera, and this is what, what you see right there is what the face of the person writing back. Oh, God. And there's... I don't know. Stake through? Okay, it's the same thing. So they turn into, like, monsters? Like, this phenomenon, whatever it is. So we're going deeper. Oh, God. So I think, is that where we were up there? I'm nervous. Whatever it is, it's going to affect us. Oh god. Yeah, and they were talking about a power loss too. There's still power here. Am I going the right way? That's a dead end. It's so quiet. Oh, I don't like this. 
it's gonna happen whatever it is it's gonna be happening anytime that grudge noise that was good oh boy So that's our friend. It's coming. I know it is. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, so all the missing people, it's saying left clues, or clues were left, which led to more missing people, so on and so forth. Well, that's sad. So the police covered it up, saying I was burned beyond recognition in a car accident. Your story ends there. Hmm. So that was good. That was Hamilton. A very quiet, short game. A little creepy venture into this exclusion zone so clearly i don't know what that one thing was but that must have been the main cause of it all it was so weird i liked it though what did you guys think let me know in the comments below oh man so i think i'm done for the night recording <laughs> that was spooky i knew something was gonna get me and we weren't getting out of there after we came over that rock there that you couldn't climb back up i knew it was over for us it was just a matter of getting in the story out of it. Anyways, guys, like, comment, subscribe, share, and or donate. I love you. You're awesome. Thanks for watching. Until next time, as always, later.